Alrighty, welcome to my intermediate cello players who are hoping to be advanced cello players. I'm going to make you a tutorial video about the finger patterns because I know there's several of you that are working on these and I sent you the chart but the chart is a little bit hard to read so I want to make sure you have a video that you can reference. So I'm going to play them for you slowly so you can see the position, uh, see the patterns in first position and in second position. When you're auditioning for NAMS Advanced Orchestra, you'll need to play the shifting patterns that go into second position. So you're going to need to be able to shift into second, low second position and high second position. And now low second position is going to be, if we're using the D string, we'll use the D string as an example. Low second position is going to be when your first finger goes to the note F. And then high second position is going to be when your first finger goes to the note F sharp. This tape right here is, um, that's my fourth finger tape. So um, it's going to be what, like here is going to be low first position, uh, low second position, and then here is going to be high second position. Okay. Um, high second position is actually where your third finger goes, but the positions are named after the violin. I know, very sad for you. So the positions are actually named after like, it's the note on the scale. And so the cello, the fingers, it's not, doesn't quite line up. Okay. So I'll just say it again in terms of letters. Okay. First position is when your finger is on the, the note E. Low second position is when your finger is on the note F. High second position is when your finger, first finger is on the note F sharp. Okay. And third position is when your finger is on the note G. Okay. So you're going to need that third position when you do some of these harder scales. But for the finger patterns, you only need second position, both versions of second position. Okay, so now we'll go through the, um, the finger patterns nice and slowly so you can really figure out what I'm doing and where my fingers are going. Okay, so here we go on the D string. We're going to start with pattern one and pattern one is spelled like this. D-E-F-G-A. Okay, so go ahead and say that out loud to yourself. D-E-F-G-A. On the D string, there's no sharps in pattern one. And that's why we call it pattern one because it uses all the natural notes or the notes that don't have sharps or flats, okay? So let me say that again, D, E, F, G, A, all right? Now let's play that pattern how you already know it, which is in first position. And in first position, pattern one is gonna use this second finger, okay? And we're gonna skip the third finger because the third finger lives on F sharp and we don't want any sharps right now for pattern one. Here it is, it's gonna sound like this. the wrong finger let me do that again and I want you to stop right there it's gonna feel weird not to play D again but for now just stop on the first finger because we only want eight notes D E F G A G F stop on E Okay, let's play that again together so you can hear it. Here it is in first position pattern one. Okay, now the idea behind these finger patterns though is they should stay on one string, okay? So when we use the open A at first, that's just to make it easier. But when you audition for advanced orchestra, you're going to need to play it in second position so that you get five notes on one string. That's the goal. We want do, re, me, fa, sol, fa, me, re on one string. Okay. So to do that, you're going to have to shift up. The nice thing is, is that even though you do have to shift for these patterns, shifting on the cello is pretty easy. Just make sure your uh, bird wings nice and tall and we're going to slide up together. Here we go. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to go from... We're going to shift to low second position, which is on F. And now our third finger is going to hit the note G. And then our fourth finger is going to hit the note A. So you can play your A string to make sure your fourth finger got to the right place. Or maybe you do have a tape there and that's even better. And then you can check with your tape. And there we go. I could hear it wasn't quite right. Let me show you that again. Here's pattern one, shifting on the first finger and we're gonna hit the note F, okay? So we're shifting on the note F. When we shift 
back down, we're also gonna shift on the note F, and then it's just gonna be our second finger again, which is how it is normally in first position. Shift on the note F. There it is. All right, let me do that again for you, and then if you need to see it again, you'll have to re rewind the video and watch again. Here is pattern one in second position. It goes to low second position on the note F. Okay, so go ahead and stop and practice that. And now I will give you a video about pattern uh, two. Okay, the nice thing is once you figure out pattern one, patterns two and three are almost exactly the same. They shift in the same place. Um, they're just going to use high second position instead, but I find high second position is actually easier because you have a tape there, okay? So here we go. Here is pattern two. In first position, it's going to use your third finger, so let's play it in first position once so we can find the notes and hear them. And then don't play D, okay? You'll see why later. So you're just playing eight notes. And now... We're going to play it and we're going to shift into second position. Now instead of shifting on the note F, we're shifting on the note F sharp. Let's spell pattern two together. D, E, F sharp, G, A. Again, D, E, F sharp, G, A. All right, let's try it now into going into second position. Shift. And now we're going to use our second finger on the note G. And that's still our fourth finger on the note A. And then I'll do it just going up again so you can see that. All right, here it is just going up without going down. D, E, F sharp, G is on the second finger now. A is still on the fourth finger. And you can always use your open A to check yourself. All right, now I'll show you coming back down. We're still going to shift on F sharp, and then it's going to end up that we're on our third finger, and that's where F sharp is in first position. So that should be, that should feel easy once you get back to first position. So here's pattern two, shifting on the note F sharp into high second position. Shift. I'll do that one more time for you a little smoother. Okay, something like that. I'm sure you'll pra you practice your cello more than I practice cello, so I'm sure that'll start to feel easier and a little more smooth, okay? Um, now, pattern three is almost exactly the same as pattern two. I actually really like doing pattern three in, sh in second position better. Let me show you in first position first. Um, this one might be new for some of my sixth graders, so or my fifth graders that are now sixth graders. So if this is new for you, um, go ahead and rewind it and watch it a few times um, before you try to shift it. So here's pattern three. Pattern three is going to be spelled like this. D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Okay, so pattern three has two sharps in it. Let's say it again. D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Okay, so he, this is kind of tricky. In first position, you're gonna actually extend the second finger and hit that tape that's usually on the third finger. So you're gonna go D, E, F sharp with the second finger so that you could get G sharp, which is above the tape. Okay, so let me show you how that's gonna sound. Extend. Extend. And again. All right. And now I can show you how pattern three shifts. And I think it's actually easier when you shift because you don't have to extend. You can just use your third finger and it's really nice. Okay. So let me show you how that's going to work. Pattern two um, shifted on F sharp. Pattern three also shifts on F sharp. Here you go. Shift. Third finger here for G sharp. And A is always on the fourth finger. Let me show you that again, just going up. D, E, F sharp, G sharp. I'll show you now going up and down, okay? Shift 
on F sharp. I uh, shifted too late. There it is. And then don't play the open D at the end. I mean, it's nice too. But when you end up doing your audition, you'll you'll see that we're not going to play that open string twice. Okay. So that was just a really slow explanation of the three patterns. And now that the ch now the chart that I sent you should make a little bit more sense. Okay. So hopefully that was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'm not going to have a cello this summer. I'm going to give this cello to a student. Um, so if you do have any questions, let me know and I'll do my best to explain on the viola. Um, I hope that helps. Let me know if you need anything.